G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Primal Pursuit mission. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ollie. Spearfishing and camping adventures, uh, that's me. So if you wanna see some good spearfishing action, stick around. I'm here in New Zealand. Just a beautiful, beautiful morning out on the boat. Sun's just about to peak up over the horizon. Got an island here out of the middle of nowhere. Gonna jump in shortly once I've got enough light. See if we can bag a kingfish, yellowtail kingfish, basically anything. Then we're gonna spend the day just diving, exploring the underwater world here, see what we can pick up, see what we can find, see what we can encounter, and then we're gonna camp on the boat overnight. That's it, let's get into it. Water temperature, 15.9 degrees. Not much wind, all swell. It looks kind of clean, we'll just see. I can't really tell with this light. It looks pretty, pretty blue though. Get this wetsuit on and jump in. Looks like we're in for a mint day. We've got all our camping gear, grills, sleeping bags, you name it, all gassed up, ready for a few days, so... I'm Daz. Sweet, we're all set up. Got the five mile on, gonna keep warm as. Fins are ready, everything. Ready to pile over the side. Big enough choice today. Dorado 130. Bit overkill, but not really. If we see a big king, that's gonna be ideal. I'm just, just getting um, used to this gun as it's gonna be used in a few weeks up in the tropics. So yeah, just wanna hone my skills in on it. And uh, yeah. I make a duck dive, sinking down into the cool winter water. There's a few pink mau mau, target species, hanging down lower. Mid water, big schools of these two spot demisel. I finally close the gap on a few pink mau mau, stretch out with a reasonably long shot, just skimming underneath the fish unfortunately. It's all very placid, not much water movement, not much current. So I decide to change tactics and head to the reef. I sink down over this reef drop off here, making my way down to the bottom at about 12 meters. Red moki around. All very still, not much water movement, which isn't ideal for pelagic species, but I have hope I'm going to try and get a nice pink mama for dinner. As with most fish, they feel more comfortable when they're near a reef. And as you can see here, a lot more calm coming in for a closer look. I sit patiently waiting for the right chance to take a nice clean shot. The moment presents itself and I get this nice pink mau mau hitting the spine, immobilizing the fish and it's a nice easy kill and that's going to be a, a beautiful meal later. I sink back down onto the reef, still hoping for a lone kingfish to roll through but nothing happening, even the pink mau mau have disappeared so up I come, unload the gun and it's time to move spots. Pretty hard going this morning. Not much going on, not much current, even though the tide should be pushing. Um, I think the moon phases off or something. Anyways, managed to get one pinky. Here it is. Reasonable size fish. So that's going to be beautiful. Wouldn't mind one more fish because that's, uh, yeah, it's not the biggest fish. So one more fish and then uh, have a nice cook up. So we'll head in shore now, the wind's picking up, we're moving to the coast and um, tuck out of the wind and just see what's, see what's on the mainland. Whew, 
pretty nippy. Made it in shore here closer and it's um, beautiful, nice and calm. It's, um, yeah, just beautiful, flat, calm coastline here. Very clean, you can see the anchor line going down there. Crystal clear, nice and shallow. Gonna get a jump in and try my luck for a few crayfish. Um, maybe hunt the shallows for snapper. Yeah, just something else to add add to the feast. And um, yeah, this afternoon we'll have a nice cook up. So let's get back in that cold, cold water. Diving in, I cruise along this shallow piece of coastline. Big bouldery terrain, very cavernous. Ideal country for crayfish, lots of kelp cover. Perfect. No other way to do it. Just keep swimming, keep searching, checking under every boulder, every rock, looking for feelers from the crayfish sticking out underneath rocks. Just keep searching. Soon enough, you'll find them in the right terrain. It's not long and I find a crayfish here sitting in this crack. There's a few of them in there. Not looking very big. I move on and look for some others. A few power around, abalone, all too small. Some more feelers sticking out down below here with a couple of options. I dive down on this crayfish, looking the biggest. The long feelers are a giveaway. Nice easy grab, a short tussle, and I've got my first crayfish. Unfortunately though, this one full of eggs underneath the tail and berry that's a no take illegal for good reason and she goes back to live and spread her eggs there's good numbers of crayfish around I grab another one in this cave but once again full of eggs and berry she also goes back of course hopefully I can find a male I notice a snapper swim behind a big rock out the corner of my eye, so quickly grab my spear gun, have a hunt around it, it must be around here somewhere. Then I spot it swimming out in the distance, stretch out, get a nice easy shot into this silly snapper. Nice wee snapper, almost with the brain kill shot, but that's going to be delicious, add to the feast with the pink mm -hmm. marmel. Dinner. I'm hunting the shallows, then I spot a nice kahawai come swimming in, just by itself. I'm actually hunting for butterfish, now this will be another good addition to the bag. Get a nice broadside shot and clean miss. It happens. I spot another orange looking tasty treat down below. Go in for the grab and clean miss this one. At the same time, tear up my finger. I think it's time to replace my gloves. The winter months can be a great time hunting crayfish, as you can see, coming into the shallows to molt, to breed. Another good sized crayfish in here. I'm hoping it's a male. Nope, once again, a female. That's the only problem at this time of year. Lots of craze and berry, almost all of the females. Here's a cray shed here. Most crays, not always, generally once a year will shed their skeleton here. Growing a bigger one underneath. Pretty cool to find them. This is it, if I get another female and berry, I'm gonna give it up. And sure enough, another one full of eggs, so that's enough playing with these crays. I don't wanna cause too much stress. So grab a bit of footage and head back to the boat. Well, that's winter diving. Pretty, uh, pretty tough. It can be pretty slow and 
pretty tough in winter, but got a couple of treats. Here's the morning's catch. Got a lovely wee snapper. Beauty and the pink Mau Mau. So yeah, two, two tasty wee fish. We'll keep going for another hour or two. See if I can find some craze. Can't believe it, that was the most craze I've pulled ever and every single one of them was in berry. Just unbelievable. Um, so yeah, all, all females holding the eggs. And um, of course, yeah, it's a no take when they're in berry and um, I wouldn't anyways, so that's that. Craze has got the upper hand today, so yeah. I just had to give up in the end. It's all good, I've got two fish. We're gonna have a mean feed later. Yeah, I'm just gonna warm up, get some sun, get a hot drink in me, some caffeine, another coffee. Yeah, we'll explore some more coastline, so stay tuned. See what else we can find. Absolutely magic day. Really calmed off nicely. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Oh yeah, shit, yeah, that's the one. Oh, it's freezing. Again, just new coast for me along here, so just following my nose and uh, yeah, unsure what I'm going to come across. Some pretty awesome terrain around here. Look at this. Pretty beautiful. Just good old New Zealand as usual, stunning. It's green, but it's clear actually, so. Yeah, might have a swim around this little rocky outcrop here. Would be pretty cool to take a cray or two home or nab another snapper or something. Um, so yeah, might have one more hot drink. We'll get back in there. I've got a good plan for these fish that I speared this morning, so stick around. Wow, it's actually very clear in here. Beautiful spot. I dive in at this new location further down the coast. Water's reasonably clean, pretty happy. I'm just cruising along, hugging the coastline here, peeking into gutters like this. Hoping to see a sleeping snapper, hopefully find a crayfish, but all I find is this strange looking creature, I don't know what this thing is, maybe some sort of sea cucumber, I'll write a comment below if you know. First time seeing this in the water so I have no idea what this is.
hell's up? There's a good little pressure point here with a little bit more current pushing at this time of the day. You can see fish starting to congregate just to the right here. There's two spot demisel, red mocky, a few blue mau mau, a few little sweep species and such. It's a likely spot to spot a snapper lurking around, but again no luck. I spot this big old wrasse down below, looked like a very mature fish, very bold. He or she retreats into his cave, try to get a closer look, big teeth, big old reef dweller, probably edible, never tried them, but I like the look of the fish to let it go. Big puff fish here, I always see these fish just chilling in the shallows, often in about 5 metres of water. A little touch here and it puffs up with its defence, its big porcupines, big spikes. Have a bit of fun with it and then let the puffer go on its way. Give it some distance, the fish deflates and off it goes. Well, in from another, another door. I scouted all around this coast here and it's just absolutely dead. Saw that puffer fish, um, that was pretty cool. Other than that, yeah, not, not much going on, so I think uh, get back along there where that beautiful little cove was. We'll go set up the boat ready, ready for camp later. The sun sets quite early in winter here, so I've probably only got a couple of hours of daylight. Go get set up and let's have a, and uh, I'm going to cook up a delicious meal, so let's do it. Time to get warm, bloody freezing. But, all worth it, beautiful scenes. Beautiful, beautiful coastline. Whew, let's do it. camp for the night. Alright, clean this up, cook up time. So believe it or not actually further inland today it's blowing about 30-40 knots so yeah it just pays to learn your local terrain and if you've got an offshore wind and very minimal swell on the coast. It's often just really nice and calm like this, as long as you haven't had any heavy rain near an estuary, outlet, harbour. Uh, it's generally pretty clean, even if it's blowing a storm. So yeah, just learn your, learn your local spots. Sometimes it takes a, a bit, but uh, you get there in the end and get to enjoy days like this when everyone else thinks it's uh, bad news out here and they're stuck at home. Small tip for you. Alright guys, got my warm drink, boat's uh, a lot more tidy, got some merino on, really a lot warmer now. Stoked to find this little cove, it's just magic. Just real sheltered from all conditions and yeah, it's going to be a mint spot to camp for the night. May even go for a night dive later, we'll see, uh, see how I'm feeling. It's pretty barren around here though, there wasn't much going on so I had a good hunt around here for some craze before and and just no, not much life at all, so might just kick back and um, yeah, just enjoy the stars. Looks like it's gonna be a, quite a clear night, so beautiful. Guys, we're gonna get cooking. We're gonna do a green curry, Thai green curry with some coconut milk. Pretty simple recipe, it's a winner. 
we use the snapper and the pink mau mau both together it's gonna be stunning so let's get into it Snapper, Mau Mau, not a whole lot of flesh on both so we'll use both fish and then we're going to get the cob, the new gas version cranking, yum, love a tiger and curry. Right we'll start the snapper, same as usual, in behind the peck there, straight through, down the spine. Along those backbones there, skim across there, through, out the tail, over the rib cage. One fillet. Here we go, we have all our delicious pink Mau Mau, snapper, all chunked up, beautiful. Beautiful fish, look at it soft, it's just falling to bits. Yum, all right. Here we have it, fresh 
fish Thai green curry. Super easy, as I love to have all my recipes. Easy peasy. Taste test. I would be very uh, surprised if this was bad. Let's go straight for a bit of that fish. That was a bit of pink mau mau. Wow. Mmm. Bit of crunchy texture from the beans. I must say. Pretty, pretty good. Yum. Wow. Back on the curry buzz. It's not too hot, so I don't think I'll um, be stuck on the toilet tomorrow, but uh, yeah, beautiful. Those kaffir lime leaves just really, really give it that edge. Um, beans are nice. Um, if you know what a choco is, quite a weird looking fruit. Um, I think it's a fruit, technically. Anyways, if you know what a choco is, they go they go great in curries. They just soak up all the flavour. Nice kind of firm um, texture, so yeah, they're great. Cheap as as well. Nice alternative for, you know, mix it up a bit. But yeah, there we go. Fresh snapper and pink mau mau green curry, and this is me, man. So stoked. Just sort of wicked spot, and that's me for the whole night. Get the tarp over here. Fingers crossed it's a dry night, but um, yeah, we'll survive. Well, that was bloody good. Full as. Still enough for dessert later. Midnight snack. Gonna hit a night dive. Just got a good good feeling about it, so I'm gonna give it a nudge. Won't be too late. Jump in at about uh, an hour or two after dark. See what's crawling around. See what's swimming around. And uh, yeah, got a couple of torches. All good to go. Tent set up. Looking pretty cozy for tonight. Got my bed down there as usual. Don't have the big esky this time, so a um, lot more space. I've played around with the design and I think it's looking a bit better than the last few times I've been out. For those of you have seen my other boat camping videos, it was a bit of a hobo shelter. This isn't far off, but it's um, an improvement nonetheless. What do you think? Write a comment open to suggestions on how to improve, but um, yeah, pretty much will keep me dry. Boom. Time to chill out. Might even have a little nap and then, yeah, I'll see you at dark for the night dive. Righto guys, had a little sleep, all get up, gonna jump in, let's see what's under there. Just gonna have a quick dive, nothing more than an hour, and uh, yeah, then it's lights out. It'll be just cool to see what's around in the, in the dark night, it's a nice still night, evening, so yeah. Let's have a look, exciting. Take my float boat, in case we do want to take a few fish or something home. Just going for a bit of an explore really, but yeah, if I do want to take something, I've got my little pea shooter 750 here that should do the do the job. Put this on, we're into it. Jumping into the cool dark water, I head straight along into the shallow water. Make sure I have my bearings, make sure I have sight of land at all time. And I'm soon encountering some very sleepy looking fish. A paroa here, sitting in its spot for the night. And it's not long before I find my first crayfish. It's a nice buck. Good sized crayfish, and finally oh, not a female. Finally got a, a male. Nice buck. Awesome. I'm back down, and I've found one little patch with plenty of crayfish on it. Big cave nearby, and they must have emerged, scrounging around for a feed. And I've got another crayfish. Beautiful. Maybe my midnight snack.
after swimming this whole area there seems to be just one spot holding all the crayfish, one little area. Quite a few around us, awesome. Struggling all day, this is a pleasant surprise. I've got two crayfish. Not in a hurry to grab another one, but if I see one more, one more nice buck, I'll take that home with me. Searching, searching the shallows once again. Searching for that bright orange colour of a crayfish. Red Mookie here, chilling on the sea floor. Amazing how close you can get to these fish at night. Spot another crayfish down below. There's a couple. Some nice sized ones here. Woohoo! That's a nice buck. Awesome. <laughs> so awesome. So fun. <laughs> I spend a bit longer just cruising around, checking out the underwater world at night. A few more crayfish here. Pretty cool to see. This fella's on the move. Caught him right out in the open. Scrounging the sea floor, looking for a feed. Looking for his midnight snack. His buddy here. Crayfish on board, I head back to the boat. Not before I encounter this Mora eel. Head poking out of his hole here. Always cool to see. Woo! <laughs> Woo! That was fun. It's crazy walking all out in the open. Pretty cool. Um, all males. So, yeah, I had the thought in the the day when I was just finding all the females, I thought surely there's got to be bucks here, there's got to be some males. I'll just come out at night and um, yeah, they were out all right. So um, no luck on the fish front. It was just very quiet, but um, yeah, got a couple of nice crays. Absolutely stoked. Whew. Anyways, time to get warm, get clothes on, and uh, get some sleep. It looks like that wind's picking up real hard early in the morning. So yeah, just gonna get straight out of here in the morning. So that's a uh, catch you later from me. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, once again, hit subscribe. If you like spear fishing and, and camping and whatnot, cheers for tuning in. Throw a comment below, just give us a thumbs up if you, if you liked it. And uh, check out the links below if you wanna support the channel, promopursuit.co.nz, get beanies, hats, and all that stuff. Helps this channel truck along. Other than that, we'll see you on the next Promo Pursuit mission. Woo! Cheers, guys.